I am delighted to report Christmas in October. And why do I say delighted? Because it's lights. There's this box, there's this box, and then there's this box. What could be in there? Ooh. But before I can unbox these boxes, I need to take care of this mess over here because yesterday I washed my car and made it very, very beautiful, and then this happened. called a haboob, that's a real word, and now this is what my car is like. Quick trip through the quick quack car wash, which is actually what the car wash is called. And now everything is good again, and now it's time to unbox some lights. Wait, did it go? Oh, it did. This is Hyperview, so it's super wide. I also haven't talked about this, but I just got this from B&H a couple of days ago. This is a Sony XD cam. This is the V90, Z90. It's a 4K camcorder and B&H is letting me borrow it for a month. Because I'm curious why camcorders aren't more popular for YouTube. Like I know why I like mirrorless cameras and stuff, but I feel like these have a lot to offer. So I have my little Sony mic on here, which works on this camcorder. So right now I'm on the GoPro 11, but for the rest of this lighting video, let's use this and see how it works. I'm going to be working on a sponsored video on my main channel with Nanlite coming up, which I'm really excited about. And part of that was they sent me a whole bunch of lights, but I have a lot of lights and stuff. So honestly, the last thing I really need is like a bunch more studio lights. And so what they sent were some really unique things, or actually what should be. I'm not 100% sure what's in all of these boxes. I mean, I know what's in that really long box. I'm gonna save that one for last. Oh, projection attachment for a light. That's fun. I will explain that in a second. Oi. Oi. There's just a whole bunch of stuff in there. Turns out it's quite the haul today which I guess would make today a holiday. Look, I can zoom in with this camera right here. Hello. That's pretty crazy. And then I can go all the way back out. What is this? This is exciting, actually. I didn't know these existed. This is like the least expensive Pavo tube. It's called the Pixel Tube. I think it's like $100. And it's really for just like fun effects and things. This is super lightweight. It's literally like lightsaber. I have to charge this one up, but I think this will be really fun for light painting and stuff. Oh, wait, ow. Ah, we've got accessories. We've got official uh, Pavo tube holders. Super heavy. God, this is like, this is a chunky boy. That goes onto this, which can hold four Pavo tubes together. So you can have four positioned is either a really bright light or just a really cool like designy piece in the background. I forgot I had this. I didn't forget I had this. I just forgot what it was. Nanlite like multi-tool. I've had this for a long time, but I can use this now to open. Be very careful. I have a lot of battery charging to do here. This is a two light kit of the Pavo Tube 2 15s, 15X. The smaller size isn't as exciting as like the ginormous ones, but the practicality of these is just like through the roof because they don't have to be used anywhere permanently. They can always just be ready to grab and go. And that's what I really wanted was all of these cool like accent lights, experimental lights, and ancillary lights <laughs> to just be able to grab and go and use whenever I need them. Which brings me to the second to last box here. Probably no surprise if that was a two pack of the two foot 15X Pavo tubes. Wait, this is a little more than I, I can't believe this is what this is actually. <laughs> this is crazy. These are the bigger ones, the four foot ones or the 30X and it's a four pack. So now there's four more of these lights in here. 
I, these are such good lights. I love them. It's one of these. It's the same light back here. It's another one. And then this, which was the first thing I had opened. I've never used this before. So this is not a light. This is an attachment for a light. This is a projection attachment for a light. So basically what this does is you have these little attachments that are different shapes and different things. And then you put them in here, put this in front of your light, and then that shape will be projected from the light. Here's some trees and tree branches. Here's like sun rays or anime surprise lines. I think this is like foliage. This looks like a pack of like natural things. And so then what I also got was another pack that had some more, just some more of them. These are made out of metal, so they're not gonna melt. Look at these, these are so cool. I was thinking it'd be fun to maybe do something on the, like the back wall and just for B-roll footage and all kinds of stuff, having these things here because what this will fit on, I have this little 60 watt nan light here. This is the Forza 60C, but this is a full color light and it is really cool. I use it a lot for just sort of lighting the room when no one else is in here, but I think this will be a lot of fun. Look at how absolutely, this is like a bazooka here. So this is my 60 watt light. We have the projection thing. I have one of the designs in it. Turn it on. Boom, there we go. There we go, there's the full thing, look at that. And with this light, I can change the color, cycle through all the colors. This is too close, I need to move it like back over there somewhere. Look at this, had a, a bright idea. Which brings us to the grand finale of this insanity right now. It'll be this insane box right here. I literally don't have the room to open these because I have this much out, but the box goes all the way there. So by the time I take the rest out, the room with this, I don't have enough to even open this. Just look at the insanity that is this tube. I finally got it out of the box. Put the other one over there. Look at that, you can't even see the top or bottom of the light <laughs> in the frame. Like it's, it's like an infinity light. This is quite the delight. Now I gotta figure out really fun stuff to do with all of these things. Very much looking forward to that. But what I'm very much not looking forward to is uh, cleaning up all of this. It's gonna be a while.